The love for riding links cyclists from all over. We all get together and everybody's friendly and everybody's happy to see each other and ride together. It's a bond Brandon Van Leuven has formed with others while cycling and turning many of his bike shop customers into friends. But I can't tell you how many friends I have now because of this um, endeavor that we have here. It, it's, it's really, really cool. But now all that friendship is paired with a lot of pain following the crash in Goodyear Saturday morning where a truck plowed into a group of cyclists, killing two and seriously injuring 11 others. Van Leuven says he now has four friends in the hospital, including his employee, 65-year-old Mike Smith. But he's, he's seriously hurt. He's seriously injured. He's not going to be back for, for a very long time. Porrick McGlynn, the owner of Cyclologic, a bicycle store in Scottsdale, also knows one of the crash victims who walked into his store 11 years ago. Clay was, you know, just he was eager to learn everything about cycling. This is recently retired Clay Wells, pictured riding his bike. But now, McGlynn says his friend is laying in a hospital bed recovering from two surgeries performed in just 24 hours. He had some surgeries to stabilize his cervical spine, and there's more surgeries scheduled to try and um, make sure that uh, they triage each of his injuries in, in an order that, you know, is going to ensure that, you know, he doesn't have he's as little long-term damage as possible. These people's lives will never be the same again. Um, even the interview, even the people that are going to come back to us and keep riding with us. Both Van Leuven and McGlynn are worried that their friends will never ride again due to their injuries or trauma, but they are hoping they will come out stronger and not let this tragedy keep them from their passion. Reporting live in Goodyear, Casey Torres, Arizona's family. Really sad story here tonight. And Goodyear police said today they are going to be holding a press conference tomorrow afternoon, so of course we'll keep you updated. Casey, Thank you. Now we were learning.